I'm Brian from Dominic's To Go. I'm going to take a couple minutes here to show you how to make a five minute marinara sauce. Uh, this is a sauce that doesn't take obviously very long to make. It has very simple ingredients. Um, here we have three quarts of fresh canned tomatoes. Italian is the best. I like to use the whole peeled tomatoes and then crush them by hand. We have a little salt and pepper. Some, what do we have here? About 10 cloves of sliced garlic. A little chiffonade of basil, maybe a three quarters of a cup, and extra virgin olive oil, which this is a key ingredient in the, in the sauce. So spend a little extra money and, and get the good stuff. So let's get started. Extra virgin olive oil in the pan. I like to do enough to coat the bottom of the pan. A little warm here. Get our garlic in. Now we want to get a little bit of color on this garlic. Get a golden color. If we get too dark, it gets a bitter. I'm going to let that go for a second. Grab our tomatoes. Get them close by. Clove of garlic right there, that's the color we're looking for. Uh, this, this should take about 30 seconds, 45 seconds to get this golden color here. And once we get the golden color, in go our tomatoes. Now we want to stir this a few times just to make sure everything's mixed in real well. We don't want anything sticking to the bottom. The pan's nice and warm when it goes in, so we don't want to burn anything. Add a little bit of fresh basil. Looks like I may have a little bit too much here. Say about a quarter of a cup. A little salt, maybe two teaspoons. And about a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Give it a stir. Now we're gonna bring this up to temperature. Up to temperature, I mean we're gonna get a slow simmer on it. We let this simmer for five minutes, hence the five minute marinara. Okay, now this has been five minutes of simmering. And by simmering, by simmering we just want to have a, a, not a boil, but a couple bubbles here and there. Just wanna taste it for seasoning. This is where your brain kind of kicks in and says, okay, it needs more salt or it needs more pepper, maybe a little bit more basil, but it actually is perfect. So, okay, so here we go. We have a final marinara sauce. Uh, five minutes, six ingredients. Uh, you should definitely try this at home because it is a wonderful sauce. Put it on your pasta, simmer meatballs, whatever you like to do with your marinara sauce. But at least you have a, a good recipe to start with. And uh, keep in touch with us at dominicstogo.com. And I will get back with you soon.